When I first got this trailer, there was a bordered up vent on the front left here, as you can see, and it's about time that I patched over this hole. Welcome back to this ongoing series on the renovation of my 1949 Spartan Manor camper trailer. And this? I'm not actually sure what this vent was for, but it seems like this trailer had a lot of vents added to it over the years. To make the patch, I'm salvaging a piece of metal from the old wheel wells. But before I can do that, I have to take it apart. Once again, using my neighbor's powered tin snips. Having measured the hole in the shell of the trailer, here I am just cutting it down to size. A good wire wheel cup goes a long way in removing some of the old butyl tape around this hole. A lot of the old screw holes were pretty puckered, so here I am pounding them back flat with a hammer. Some rivets holding in the aluminum frame for the old vent were sticking out, so I'm simply taking those out, along with the frame. Now I'm center punching all the solid rivets where the patch is going to be overlapping, and then drilling them out. Using some steel wool with mineral spirits to remove more of the butyl type residue, and a file to help clean up the edges of this rough hole. Now I'm measuring out where all the new rivets will go. The rivets along the right side we just transferred from the holes that already existed. Record. With the location of a rivet marked out, I center punch it, drill it, and then secure some of those holes with Clecos. With all the holes drilled, now I'm removing the Clecos so we can get this patch ready for installation. Getting ready to rivet in the rain. Here my mom's deburring the holes with a countersink bit. With the butyl tape applied to the patch, now I'm using an awl to make sure that the holes line up. With the corners secured by Clecos, I'm using the awl to punch holes through the butyl tape so that we can get the rivets through more easily. Set three. I'm putting in the next three. three. And now, just lots of buck riveting. Here my mom is the gunner, and I'm inside the trailer holding the bucking okay. bar Set. so that we can flatten Medium. the end of each rivet. Set. In some parts of the patch, there are sometimes four layers of metal, so I'd have to order some longer rivets just to get through those. The ones on top were the longest I had before, and so just that little bit of extra length made a big difference. The top one, yes. Set. Three. Set. Three. Ooh, they're a little rusty now. Set. Three. Set. Three. Whoa. How's it look? This looks good in here. Are there, is that all of them? I don't see any holes. The third and fourth in, those rivets have almost have no shot head in here, so I might drill those out quickly. And here's how it looks from the inside. And a close up of some of the rivets and the final look of the outside. Between the two of us, my mom and I spent a total of five hours putting in this patch, and it cost about $24 for those extra long rivets. Thanks for watching and see you next time.